What is up, everybody? Back with another top 10 song list. First one I've done in a while, but today I wanted to talk about some winger. As I've said in the past, I'm a big fan of this band. Yes, they're glam metal, which is not a problem for me by any means. I'm a big glam fan, but Winger was always um, a bit more progressive, better musicianship than a lot of the other bands in the same scene. They got heavier as time went on, which is pretty cool. So if you're, you think that there's some wimpy glam band, that's just simply false. You know, of course, they get a bad rap because uh, that guy on freaking Beavis and Butthead, Stewart, wearing their shirt, he was the dorky guy, and Lars Ulrich throwing freaking darts at a picture of Kip Winger in the Nothing Else Matters music video. Kind of a douche move in my opinion, but uh, what are you going to do? Winger, great band. Going to count down my 10 favorite songs. Always loved Red Beach's guitar playing. One of my all-time favorites, Kip Winger, just a master songwriter. A lot of these songs, just the way they're structured and composed is genius. Just flow so perfectly. Um, he's got a really good voice as well. Rod Morgenstein on the drums, great player. Paul Taylor on the keyboards. Um, currently, John Roth on guitar as well. Just saw them a few months back and it was really cool when there was no keyboards being played. Um, Paul Taylor plays guitar as well, so he picked up a guitar. They had the trio going and it was just really cool. They had some really like amazing harmonizing parts going at times, but I'm just going to jump. I'm finally going to jump into it here. So my number 10 is going to be Rainbow and the Rose from this album right here. In the Heart of the Young from 1990, their second album. And, you know, this song just, again, the vocal melodies are fantastic. Love the chorus. The guitar solo towards the end of the song is amazing, so had to make my list. Number uh, nine, I'm going to go with probably the most popular song, 17. Um, yeah, it's a big popular hit, but for good reason. It's an it's, it's a really cool, awesome song. Um, good hook, good catchy chorus, and the guitar solo is freaking scorching. Red Beach kills it on that. Just uh, really good stuff. Next up at number eight, I'm going to go with the song Blind Revolution Mad, the first song from this album right here, Pull 1993. With this one, they got a bit heavier, so if you want something heavier from Winger, I would go to this album and this uh, first track on it, Blind Revolution Mad. Super uh, kind of dark feel to it. Kip's voice sounds amazing. Nice heavy riffing, so that is my number eight, Blind Revolution Mad. Number seven, I'm going to go with State of Emergency from the debut. You're probably going to see a lot of stuff from this debut. It's legendary classic glam metal album and you see the writing on there i got it signed by red beach um, when i saw them in concert a few months ago awesome guy signed all three of the winger albums that um i own so that was cool of him but uh yeah so that was state of emergency at number seven number six i'm gonna go with stone cold killer the amazing song from the album karma in 2009 this one again is pretty heavy almost i swear to god sounds at times, reminds me a little bit of Painkiller, which is kind of weird, but just uh, some of the riffing and stuff throughout the album. And on this song, super heavy. Um, the chorus is great, very catchy. So that is my number six. I'm going to go back. I'm freaking hitting my camera here. I'm going to go back to uh, 1993, pull again for the song Junkyard Dog. Another really heavy one, just amazing riff. Uh, really cool song. So that is my number five. Number four, I'm going to go back to the debut with the song hungry again just great riffing solo's awesome the chorus is so good and catchy um yeah just awesome stuff so that is my number four now number three i'm gonna go the only song i'm picking from this album that's gonna be winger four the song is gonna be four leaf clover so this came out in 2006 this song is just so good honestly somewhat thought about putting it at number one these top three are all amazing but four leaf clover just flows so perfectly. Again, I said the way that Kip Winger is songwriting. Just great, majestic sounding song. The guitar is great. Love the chorus. Just everything about it is awesome. Um, so number two, I'm going to go with Time to Surrender. Great classic, somewhat overlooked song from the debut album. No music video or anything for it, but uh, just awesome stuff. Love the chorus again. The riffing from Reb, fantastic. So that is my number two. And my number one Winger song is going to be a modern one, which is kind of crazy thinking about their great classic songs, but I'm going to have to go with the song Pull Me Under from Karma. This is the one mainly that honestly sounds like it could be like a, almost a painkiller Judas Priest era song. So super heavy, amazing opening riff. The guitar solo and like harmonizing part there, I saw this live. They were just playing it all three guys together. It's not like that all the time, but Paul Taylor, he picked up a guitar for this song and they were all playing that like tapping amazing guitar solo at, like towards the end of the song together which was awesome again great vocal melodies from kip um the 
the uh, chorus is great, but that is an amazing song. If you're going to check out one, and you're kind of skeptical about going back to Winger. That one is super heavy and awesome. Almost guaranteed that you're going to like it. So go check that out. And um, like I said, Winger is a great band. And I might as well list a few honorable mentions real quick before I go. So my number 11, I'm going to go with um, Come a Little Closer. I mean, I have these in order, kind of, but no order, I guess. About four or five honorable mentions. Rat Race is cool. Baptized by Fire has a super cool, like, tapping intro there from Reb. Um, Short Flight to Mexico is cool. Right up ahead where some I wrote down. But, uh, yeah, that's all I got. Winger, cool band. Give me your top ten in the comments. And as usual, thank you all for watching. Till next time.